Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. This time I'm going to show you how to do a fresh install on the Grand MA. Uh, this time I'm going to install because we need to ship a console on a show and it needs to be at version 3.2.2.13. I know it's not the latest, uh, but they've been running the show on that version for a while and we need to do a console swap. So you're gonna start Stick Maker that you can download from uh, ECT Lighting's website or from MA Lighting, MA Lighting's website. So it opens this little program here. So you're gonna make a bootable disk drive uh, with the image that you're gonna have downloaded previously from the website as well. So you can get the latest version, which is a uh, .16 and, dot, and download the .im GZ, the image file. So in Stick Maker, you're going to choose your USB drive and then you're going to select the software you want to put on that USB drive. So as we see here, dot 13, and then we're going to hit start. And it's gonna ask you if you really want to do this, cause uh, it's gonna erase, it's gonna erase all the data on the USB stick. So you click the yes. Sorry about the noise. So this is gonna take a little while. Shouldn't be too long. So we're just gonna wait until that is done. I'm gonna hit pause, and then I'm gonna come back. All right, we're back. So it's been four or five minutes and it's almost done. Just gonna let it finish. Shouldn't take too long now. Okay, so now it's done. So we're gonna take that key. Go to our console, we have a full size here. You can see me in the, in the monitor. So we're gonna put the USB key in. And then we're gonna boot. So I'm trying to hold still. So I'm gonna hit tab as soon as uh, the screen starts to get off that page, tab. And then we're gonna hit X18, which is F8. And that's gonna ask where you wanna boot from. So the first choice is gonna be the hard drive, and the second choice is my USB stick. So I'm gonna start that. So. Then we're gonna get in the setup menu. So the first choice is gonna be update software. I'm not sure if you guys can read this, but it says update software version 2.2, uh, 3.2.2.13 and keep shows user data. The next choice is going to be update software and clean show user data. So I just want to do a, just an update of the software and keep all shows and profiles and stuff like that. What I'm going to do is the third choice, factory reset. This deletes all shows plus update software. So that's what I'm doing when I'm doing a fresh install. So I'm just going to hit enter on that. And then it's going to load the kernel and all types of stuff. And then it's supposed to ask you if you really want to erase the hard drive because it's going to format it. So you're going to answer yes to that. So it should be right there. Your disk will be formatted. This will... This means all your data will be lost. Please make sure you have a backup of your data before you continue. So you save your shows, your profiles and everything before you do this because it's going to wipe the drive. So I'm going to hit yes. And the overall process doesn't take that long to install. It's real uh, 
real fast. <clears throat> Takes a couple of minutes, so it's like two or three minutes. So we're just gonna sit here and wait. Just so you can see the entire process. There you go, you are installing the following boot system and you have your uh, lighted version 3.2.2 part 13 and you hit yes here also that's gonna check files ask us to wait And after this is done, it's gonna ask you to remove the USB key to restart. So it should take uh, just a couple of seconds now. There you go. Please remove USB stick. Press OK to reboot. So we're gonna take out the key, hit OK, and then the console is going to boot again and you're going to be in the right version so I'm just going to let it boot okay so it's going to go right into software Sorry, I have a shaky hands. <coughs> Any second now. takes a little while longer <laughs> well should I pause you guys and just let or just let this run okay So it's gonna ask me to calibrate. And then, uh, calibrate the screens. And then it's gonna probably show me the usual screens of uh, terms and uh, agreements for using the console. Yeah. So you just scroll all the way down and click I agree. Oops. There. I don't want this to show every time I boot. There, so if I hit setup. We can see that our console is at the right software and the update worked. So just a short recap. You download the image file from the, the website. You download as well StickMaker, which gives you this window. You load your USB key with the image, the GranMA version you want to, uh, to install. You hit start. Then you take this USB key, put it in, and you start to boot and you hit F8, which is X18. And it's gonna end up the boot menu. You select your USB stick and you boot from there. 
and you select the third choice, which is a full install, and it erases all previous data and previous versions and stuff, and installs only the right version you want. So this is how you do it. It's pretty easy. It can be done in about 15 minutes overall. So uh, there you go. Thanks for watching.